Alright channel, if you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is a giant, massive, insane, didn't need to happen, but did, haul from Ulta. I walked into a physical store, and now I want ham banana sandwich on a purchase. I don't know what ham banana sandwich is, for the record, but what I do know is this haul needed to happen. And it was one of those spiritual situations where you're like, God has my back. Did I just include God in a justification of a haul? You better believe it. All right, so if you're new here, the chances of you being new here are very high because people love haul videos. So if you're new here, my name is Danny. <laughs> this is Sophia. You're literally the worst, Sophia. Oh my God, come here. Oh. I'm gonna have to timestamp this video so that you guys know when the actual haul begins, because it's gonna be a it's gonna be a long video. What do you wanna say? Did you do a haul? What'd you haul? Snacks? Do you wanna tell everyone about the new snacks you discovered that you really like? Hmm? Yeah? Cause I still smell them on you. You really like them, don't you? You really have to look at the camera. I don't know how many times I have to tell you this. If you guys are new here, this is Sophia. She's my schnoodle and she loves loves to interrupt my intros and my outros. It's like she knows. I don't know what her trigger word is, but she runs over and she's like, I'm ready. Let's do this. And then she looks down. <laughs> Look at the camera. Show them your face. Show them how pink you are. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, there it is. Okay, fine. We're getting some eye contact. We're getting some eye contact. There we go. That's it. She just wanted to be in the center of the frame, you guys. Look at that. Hey, and then what? We're just gonna do this for a couple minutes because I'm kind of uncomfortable. My body is physically contorted just so that you'll make eye contact. <laughs> I damn boy don't you. I got lipstick all over her fur, but that's okay. Okay, so she's gonna proceed to shake off my love for the next couple minutes, so you'll just deal with it from her shaking. So, um, okay, so if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny. This uh, channel is very informal. We don't take ourselves too seriously. Sometimes I'll throw an occasional big word at you, but every time you're gonna be entertained and every time I'm gonna be able to go through this entire justification of why I needed to do a haul video or a haul or just shop in general. So if you're a parent, you have certain types of days with your kids. Like you have that day where you're like, this day was creepily easy. Like, yes, mom, no, mom, thank you, mom. They eat their dinner, they love dinner, they had a good day at school, they get home and they put their stuff away and you're like, do, 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 right? And then you have other days where like, the teacher meets you at the carpool lane and tells you how awful they were that day and then you get the phone call home with all the details of how awful they were and then you get the email to follow up about how awful they were. Okay, so imagine that day, but for an extension of a week. Every single day. Day. It was great. It was making me feel like I was the best mom on the planet. Let me tell you. Anyway, it was a rough week and it was one of those weeks where I was like, you know what? I know I'm a good mom and I'm going to go to retail therapy, but I didn't want to do an online purchase. I know Rakuten's the best. You get money back. Woohoo. Yeah, it is the best, but I needed the instant gratification. But what happens when I do retail therapy, which is why I've cured myself of that addiction, is when I do retail therapy, I get that burst of serotonin, I get home, and then I wonder, did I really need all of these things? Okay, come on. I get home and I'm like, did I really need all these things? Do these things really make me happy? Am I really happy with these purchases? Like. Am I proud of, I'm always proud of my purchases, but, but like it's one of those things where it's like, is it useful? Is it helpful? Did I like it? And usually the consensus is, it's good enough. It made me happy for a second, but then it goes into the forgotten drawer or I give it away to somebody or I use it for a couple times and then I'm like, it really wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be. How long is this intro now? Seven minutes? Eight minutes? Twelve minutes? Anyway, the point of that story is to say this haul was epic. <laughs> okay, so I had a 20% off coupon. 
I had $135 in rewards and that's it. <laughs> so um, I went into Ulta because I had a shopping cart on my app and I had like an Aveeno body wash, a new loofah, um, a different color of shape tape, of concealer, shape tape concealer, and like just a couple of items that I needed. And I was like, when I tracked it, my local store had it, and I was like, what if I just walk into this store, get that burst of instant gratification, feel a little bit better about my parenting skills, and uh, have some fun stuff to play with. $400 pre-savings later. This happened. Okay, so, do I still have my receipt in here? I probably put it away in shame. All right, it was $400. And um, then I had the 20% coupon and I had the rewards. I ended up walking out paying $125. You're welcome. Yeah, that's what happened. It's really hot in here, you guys, and my compression tank is not helping. <laughs> my compression tank. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. I wanna just pull off the Band-Aid of shame right away from the jump because recently I did a My Perfume Collection video and I talked about how, oh my God, I used to be this compulsive perfume hoarder and now I've narrowed it down to like my favorite six perfumes of all time. And then I walk into Ulta and I buy two. So I don't have this, it's downstairs because I wore it this morning, but I got the Victor and Rolf Eau de Toilette um, in the Bon Bon Pastel version. This is a limited edition spring fragrance. It comes in the classic bow shape bottle that everyone's bananas about. Honestly, you guys, if I am 100% candid with you, which I always am, um, I always wanted that bow bottle in my collection. I don't care in what form, fashion, or style, or scent it came in, but the Victor and Rolf um, Bon Bon selection always comes in bows, but they have different scents that come out with each season. So this one is the spring and it smells like cute, romantic Valentine's Day candy with a splash of fresh citrus. Um, that's just how I'm going to describe it. Uh, you're welcome. And then the other one that I got, I'm the girl that is obsessed with all limited edition Escada perfumes. And you know I use the word obsessed very lightly, only when I mean it. I'm not gonna drop it every other word of every expression when I'm talking about beauty products. Um, but Escada Flor de Sol, first of all, I love the like, I don't know, like the theme that it has. So it has kind of like a Mexican theme to it. Um, oh yeah, look, Mexico. Turquoise. Waters, turquoise, turquoise something is my favorite Escada perfume of all time. It was also limited edition. This is what the bottle looks like. Um, so all of their limited edition fragrances have a hint of either watermelon or like raspberry. So it has that candy scent to it, but it's very friendly and very fruity and very citrusy. So it's lighthearted and fun. It's not like sexual candy. You know what I mean? Like most of the Victor and Rolf scents have that really deep, heavy, musky, patchouli, like sexual candy. It's like the best way I can describe it. I know I'm like running out of words over here, but they're all very heavy. So I need them to be lightened up with a little bit of citrus or something fun, flirty, floral, um, something to lift them up and not make them so intense. I can't do intense. Intense is this. <laughs> I don't also want to smell intense. So I got those two perfumes. So far, I love them both. You know what perfumes, you test them in the store. I don't know if you do this, but I'll spray it on my sleeve and then I'll walk around and I'll shop and then throughout the time that I'm there, I continue smelling it and smelling it and smelling it to see if I still like it. I'm sorry, UPS, do you, do you want to interrupt my video again? Um, so I keep smelling it and usually I'll get to the point where I'm like, this is not necessarily for me. It changes in the scent or I just don't like it and I just move on and I, I never get it. Those came home with me that day. Um, uninteresting, unimportant, but my favorite loofah is actually from Eco Tools. They are um, exfoliating puffs. They're not like, oh, it's so soft and fluffy, like you're getting licked by puppies. No, they scrub the 
heck out of your skin. And that's kind of what you want. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has a very strong, heavy texture. It's very dense. Um, and it has different colors. I don't know if that matters to you, but it's not a $1 loofah. I think it's a $3 loofah. So if you're feeling spendy, Another thing I wanted to try was another body wash from Shea Moisture. I tried three other body washes from Shea Moisture. A couple of them are winners, a couple of them aren't, but I'm just kind of in this place right now with body wash where I'm just gonna try as many as I possibly can until I find the one to replace the one that we will not mention any longer on this channel. If, you're, if you've been here for long enough, you know why I'm salty at Caress still. Anyway, this is the um, Skin Renewal Recipe. It's a cream body wash, and it says dry, stress skin. I don't know about you guys, but in the winter, I'm a crocodile. Full-blown, crazy alligator crocodile, where like if I scratch my skin, like the bottom of my nails are full of flaky skin. I know that sounded extremely attractive. You're welcome. Um, moving on, another body wash. I told you guys, this haul was angry, like it's an angry haul. I got another body wash from The Body Shop. This is for dry, sensitive skin, and it's almond milk and honey. I think anything with honey is supposed to be good for you, right? And anything with almond or coconut smells delicious, so. It smells okay. You know what it smells like? Post sun care. Like when you're like, oh, I was in the sun too long getting my tan on, and then you wanna put something soothing and calming on your skin, that's kind of what it smells like. When I got these. <laughs> Do you know the story behind these wax strips? Oh, you don't? Then you need to go watch my Mrs. video because we talk all about it. But if you're looking for wax strips that actually wax, this is my favorite kind. And let it be known, I've cheated on Sally Hansen before and I learned my lesson. Um, a product fail, and we're about to get into a ton of makeup products that I've actually used and I'm gonna give you many reviews. So if you were expecting a very short haul, this is not the video because my intro alone was seven minutes. Um, okay, so I have, hold please. All right, you guys, I've gotten greedy and um, I believe that God is teaching me a very important lesson. So we're gonna talk about my hair. I've told you guys several times on several occasions. I've told you guys on several occasions. The other way sounded kind of condescending. <laughs> told you guys multiple times, several, whatever. I've told you guys that I'm on a very strict regimen of collagen in my coffee and uh, biotin caps, capsules from Briogeo. I'll link them down below because I know you're going to ask me. I take them and I blame them on the condition of my hair, the length of my hair, how quickly my hair grows. However, after my explant surgery, I've noticed a ton of more hair, yeah, like new hair, and the shine in my hair is very different. The luster that my hair has is very different. Today is not the day to be looking at my hair and having a bad hair day. I literally washed it this morning and it already looks greasy. I think it's a combination of when I'm getting ready and the moisturizer on my skin and letting my hair down, and do you see how it kind of groups together at the bottom? So just don't take what I'm saying about how great my hair is and think of today as one of those good example days because today's not it. Anyway, so I got greedy and I wanted to stack the deck and one way that I tried to do that was to change my round brush. So supposedly boar bristles are a way to make your hair super shiny. So I thought I'm gonna upgrade my round brush when I blow dry my hair to a boar bristle brush and it's gonna totally make the difference. Well, I was wrong. I got the Eco Hair um, brush. It's an eco-friendly natural bamboo brush. I think the brand is Olivia Garden, I believe. Yes, Olivia Garden is the brand and Eco Hair is the um, collection within the brand. I used this brush once, you guys, once. And look at the bristles. Do you see that? The brush got destroyed with one use of it blow drying my hair. Now I'm conflicted because if I take it back to Ulta, I'm gonna get the price that I paid with the 20% off and the, um, uh, what's the name of it? The 20% off and the rewards that I used. So this brush I think is like $20. I'm only gonna get 
uh, $7 back for it. It was $21.95, $5 off with the 20% off, and then $10 of my rewards. I paid $6.93 for this brush. Do I want to drive to Ulta for $6.93? Uh, probably not, but I just can't imagine this brush working for anyone else when after one use, the brush gets completely destroyed. Look how ratty it is. Look at that. It is a, such a shame. And I didn't notice anything different in the look of my hair that day. I did notice, however, that it did take a little bit longer to dry. Now, I don't use an extremely hot temperature because my hair is super thin. I don't need heavy like heavy heat when I'm blow drying my hair. And I also don't put the blow dryer on my hair. I hold it above. So I know a lot of people are gonna be like, well, you burned the brush. Listen, Karen, I did it, okay? It's a bad brush. This is full of stuff. I'm gonna dump it in front of me. Just so that I make this a lot easier for myself. Okay, so how about essence? Let's get into essence. One, two, three, four. Four. I believe that's all I got from Essence. Yeah. Okay, so three mascaras from Essence and a brow gel. These are all repurchases. These are all products I've tried and I super duper highly recommend. So these two are the same exact mascara. UPS. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear all that white noise in the background. So these two are the same exact mascara with the only difference that one is a straight wand and then the other one has a curve to it. I like them both. Um, it's just what kind of mood I'm in or what I want to use because mascara wands that are curved, I don't use the curve like that. I use the curve backwards because I feel like it really gets in there and pushes up. Let's not talk about my mascara today. I'm testing out a new mascara, which is not a winner for my kind of lashes. The mascara is a winner, not on my kind of lashes. So anyway, so these two are really, really good. They were repurchases. The other two repurchases are the brow gel and the instant volume boost. This mascara, I think if I were to narrow it down or pick one drugstore cruelty-free mascara to use for the rest of my life, no arguments, it would definitely be the Essence Instant Volume Mousse. Uh, volume Mousse? I am 100, you know, I'm just gonna open it. Actually, you know what? Hold, please. Don't be looking at my butt. I'll see what you're doing. I haven't put these in my empties bin, so let me show you. This is the instant volume mousse, no, I'm just kidding, boost. That's what the wand looks like. There we go. Okay, this mascara, if you like thick, spidery lashes, that's what I love. This is the one. Two layers and boom, you have black, thick drama. These two here are, but they're a little bit wetter, so it takes a little bit more building up. This one here is the curved one. That one's still pretty good. Look at that, it's holding up real well. So you see the slight curve on the wand and then this is the, uh, the pink one has the curve. And then the peach, like the electric coral looking one, is the one that's straight. This one dries out a little bit quicker. Um, I guess I could say I prefer the curved one for my top lashes and then the straight one for my bottom lashes because I do my bottom mascara like this. I go across, I don't go like that. So this is a lot easier to apply my mascara. Anyway, so there's that. Love these mascaras from Essence. The brow gel is great. Is it like, oh my God, life altering? No, this one is from Tarte. Um, this is my favorite. Um, but if I just want a really good clear brow gel, the Essence one never lets me down. It's kind of one of those where it's like, you don't have to think about it, but this one actually does change your life. So you'll see the difference. The wand in the Essence one just looks like a basic mascara wand, really good. Holds them down, it does its job. But this one, when you wanna get fancy with your brows, like I do my brows up here and then I carry them over and then I brush them down on the edge. This one makes that so easy and it holds them in place without making them crunchy. This one doesn't either, by the way. All right, we got that out of the way. Um, can't confuse my old ones with my new ones, you guys. Um, let's go, I think we'll go by brand maybe. Because I did go 
pretty crazy with tart stuff. So I showed you guys my tart brow gel and then I got all of these other stuff stuffs. I got all these other stuffs from Tarte. Um, this is the Big Ego Sketch and Set Brow Pencil and Tinted Gel in the color Medium Cool Brown. That's what the box looks like. Actually, let me do it the right way. That's what the box looks like, Medium Cool Brown. I'm wearing it right now as we speak, and I'm gonna give you a mini review on this product. So it is a two-sided brow kit. The brow gel looks like that. Why does he keep trying to focus on my face? Like, you you see enough of my face. You don't need to be looking at that. So the wand is delicious. I love that. And then the pencil. Apparently, I don't know how to use it, even though I've already used it. The pencil looks like that. It's a very fine tip pencil. Um, the medium cool brown. Let me do a couple swatches. So here are my thoughts, I guess, in a nutshell. My favorite thing about it is it's a two-in-one. It has two products in one easy to use setup or setting or whatever. The color match is brilliant. I love the medium cool brown. I love that the gel and the pencil are two different colors because you're gonna get that two dimensional look. So the pencil's one color, the brow gel's a different color. So you're getting that highlighted look on your brows so it makes them look 3D. When you don't have a ton of brow hair like me, it's important to use a brow gel and a pencil that are two different colors so that you create depth and it looks like there's texture to your brows. Um, the only downside is there's no spoolie. I mean naked spoolie without any product on it. So you have the spoolie for the brow gel, but when I deposit pencil, I the technique that I develop because I'm not a professional is I put down more pencil than I need, then I go in with the spoolie, blend it out and remove some of it and then go in with the brow gel. There's no spoolie on here that you could use to clean up your brows. So that for me is the only negative part to this, but I really did like the product. So if I get better at not using so much pencil, I could see this becoming a really practical go-to two-in-one type product for days where maybe I'm going out of town and I wanna make it easy, no fuss, no muss. The other thing that I have here is I love this product. This is a product I used for my engagement pictures when I was in Mexico with Parker. And this is the Busy Gal Brows Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Taupe. Um, I already have this color. I don't even know why I'm opening it. I already have this product. Um, it's so good, you guys, it's so good. It is a one use product or one, one use. Um, one stop shop product. Anyway, on days where I want the no makeup makeup look, I just use that one product. It does definition, it does hair-like strokes, it's the brow gel, it's tint, it's everything all in one, it's brilliant. And I use it in taupe and brown, medium brunette, soft brown, I don't know, a brown color. Did you guys hear that? That was my stomach. Um, another product that I have not tried, virgin on this product you guys completely virgin i haven't tried it but it was next to shape tape and i love shape tape so i thought why the heck not by the way i went in for shape tape i didn't even buy shape tape this is the new tarte shape tape glow wand i think it comes in five or six different shades you buy it depending on the tone and probably your skin tone i would say because it does get deeper it is a shimmer less glow wand um it has a silly little sponge on the end. I can't imagine myself wanting to use this. You know what this reminds me of? The Micro Beauty Blender? Like that was a joke. This is kind of a joke too. Anyway, so this is to be used over shape tape, under shape tape, in addition to shape tape, to be mixed into your foundation, to be mixed into your shape tape, to be used as a liquid highlighter. So there's a lot of functions for this. I got the shade A Glow. There's one shade lighter and there's I think four shades deeper. So that's what it looks like. So it's shimmerless. It's, you know what it is? It's a brightening concealer. That's kind of what it reminds me of. It's a brightening concealer. Adds brightness to your face. You're welcome for my use of adjectives. That's a swatch right there. So do you see that? It is insanely brightening, but it's not going to be heavy metallic or glittery. So I like it. Have I used it? No, I can't really say in context how it's gonna perform. This though, I can say, 
why haven't you guys told me about it? So this is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. This is a concealer that I would say is perfect for those of you that have very dry under eyes or very dry skin. It's Shea Tape's hydrated, well-balanced older sister. You know what I mean? Shea Tape is pigment, it's coverage, but when it dries, it's like dry paint. This one here is insanely sticky, but sticky in a really good way. So there's a swatch of it. It is way, way good, super duper coverage. Apparently I'm running out of adjectives on how to say good and, and great. Um, this is the shade light, medium, neutral. So if you're complected like I am, light, medium, neutral, if you're complected, if you're complected, if your complexion is like mine, um, light, medium, neutral is great because it's great coverage, but it's not too brightening. I am so done with seeing makeup that is like 42 shades too light here. It looks bad. <laughs> I'm usually one that's like, do you boo, you do you, I don't care, it doesn't affect me in any way, but I'm like, don't they have a Sam to be like, mm, maybe try two shades darker. It'll still be brightening, it just won't look like you forgot to take the bake off, you know? Anyway, so the shade light medium neutral is, I would say just half a shade lighter than my skin tone. Just half a shade, you can tell, I'm wearing it right now. I've noticed as I've gotten older, you guys, I'm 35, I have four kids, well, two kids, two bonus kids, uh, four sick dogs, you know, like I'm busy, I'm older, and I'm stressed. And so my skin is not the same as it was seven years ago when I started YouTube. Um, and so <clears throat> as much as I like shape tape, I have to know what works for me and what doesn't. I love Shape Tape. I'm gonna continue to use Shape Tape, but when my skin is telling me, not right now, not right now. So right now that it's winter, right now that I'm stressed, I've been changing up my skincare, trying new things, Shape Tape's too drying. I can use it all over my face, I just can't use it as, as my under eye concealer. This one, I'm telling you guys, if you have drier skin and you really wanted to love Shape Tape, maybe this is the one that's gonna work for you guys. So you can see it's still very fresh or very moist looking. So you really have to blend it out. It is insanely hydrating. Um, that is it for my Tarte stuff. You thought I was gonna say for this video. <laughs> You're not that lucky, y'all. Um, I did get a free long lasting makeup setting spray. Um, that was free because I think of my reward level or something. I don't even know. All right. One more bath product. I saw this, this is a full on, full on impulse grab. You guys know I love these bathroom loofahs, but I saw it had a handle. Like, it's, it's like a blendiful. <laughs> Sorry Tati, but it's been done. Just kidding. Could you imagine doing your makeup with this? <laughs> Anyway, so I saw this and it kind of reminded me of the loofah that I used for my back to keep my back knee at bay, um, but a smaller version and for like my body, especially like my shins. From my knee down, my skin is like angry dry at me. So I thought this would be a really cool, handy shower product to use. It's from the brand Earth Therapeutics. This is what the packaging looks like. And they have different shapes too. They have this round one. They have like a little rectangle looking one. I wanted the round one because I'm like, it's the size of my hand. Anyway, two nail polishes. Hey, are we almost done? No. Uh, <laughs> two nail polishes, both from Sally Hansen. They're the Miracle Gel. I love this formula. I got two shades. Um, orchiding aside, orchiding aside and plush blush. I thought plush blush might be a really good um, wedding color, right? For like our little nuptials that we're gonna have soon. So I thought, I'm gonna try it. It looks opaque and um, like a, oh, what's the word for no shimmer? But there's actually, it's actually a shimmer polish. I hope it's thick. I hope it's an opaque color. I hope it's not one of those super thin, nakedy looking ones. This is actually not what's on my nails right now. So Nusha, one of my best friends, got a gel manicure recently and she didn't write down the name or number or anything of the gel. Cause when you get gel on your nails, do you really pay attention to what the color is? Not really. Anyway, it was the most 
beautiful baby pink color ever. But the best way that I could describe it is pastel baby pink with a drop of lavender polish is the, is the color. Like it was so pretty. So I went on the hunt to try and dupe it and I bought three different polishes. This was the one I found at Ulta. And as much as I love it and as pretty as it is, it's not the same color. But this is another color that I bought trying to dupe it. Again, not the same color, but that was the justification for the nail polishes. Um, this lip color, I opened it like uh, like very gracefully, is a lip oil from NYX. It's the Slip Tease Full Color Lip Oil. I'm wearing it today. It is a very confusing product. I can't, I've never tried anything like it. It is super, super confusing. I, I've just, I've never tried it before. It's right there. This color is, I woke up like this. So it's a lip oil that has color in it, but it dries down like this. The way that it feels when you're applying it, it feels like a liquid lipstick, like a matte liquid lipstick is the way that it feels or the way that it swatches. It's like a powdery, loose, non-sticky gloss. So when you're swatching a matte liquid lip color, it has that intense pigmentation. It glides very smoothly like a water, not like a gloss. A gloss has that thick viscosity, that stick to it. This one's just slippery. It claims to be a lip oil, but there's nothing oily about it. I don't know, it's very confusing. Like, look, it's like I'm applying a matte liquid lipstick, right? But it's an oil, but then why is it matte? Does it have a ton of pigment? Mm-hmm. Does it get all over my lips? Yeah, better believe it. But it like goes away and it leaves a stain but it doesn't feel like an oil. I'm very confused. I don't like products that confuse me. I'd rather just not like a product. <laughs> like, that product is sticky. That product makes me itchy. That product is the worst. But this one's like, do I like it or do I not like it? I don't know. I think because it claims to be an oil, but it applies like a matte liquid lipstick, but then it dries down like a stain, I'm, I'm conflicted because I don't want to call it a lip oil because if I'm like, hey pandas, go to Ulta, buy this lip oil, you're gonna go in to the store thinking you're buying a lip oil and then you get this. Are you gonna hate it? No. Are you gonna love it? Yeah. But are you gonna be confused? Yes. Okay, here's a perfect example. You go to Burger King and you say, hey, can I have the number three with Dr. Pepper? And then they give you your soft drink, you go and you take a sip and it tastes like Coke. You've already tasted the Dr. Pepper in your mind and you taste Coke, you get very confused. So I've already tasted lip oil in my mind. Like I've, I've made up my mind that this is gonna be a lip oil and when I put it on, I'm like, Nyx? Why are you doing this to your girl? I like the product. I love it. I love the color. I mean, it doesn't emphasize, okay, maybe a little bit, Team Raisin Lips, but it's super comfortable. It's like uh, it's like an oil stain matte liquid lipstick. It's non-drying too. I don't know. I'm really confused, you guys. Do you want to see what a lip oil is? Let me show you. I got a couple of products from Florence. There was this giant display with a big sign that was like, vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, fun-free, zero calories. You know what I mean? Like it had this big sign um, on Florence by Mills. And I was like, what is that? Apparently I had to Google it. And then I had one of those moments where I realized how old I was and I felt old. And apparently it's a celebrity. It's a celebrity. It's like, a young celebrity that's super famous. Like if I were to ask my bonus kids, like, hey, who is Millie Bobby Brown? They're gonna be like, who? I'm sorry, I'm offended, you know? And so Millie Bobby Brown, I believe is, is the celebrity's name, I'm sorry. I got this because of the selling points, you know? It was like lightweight, every, everyday makeup, be the best version of you. So it basically just takes who you are and just, tweaks it just a little bit. Everything is super lightweight. It's a healthier product. It's like a green beauty brand, I would go out on a limb to say. 
So I got three products from Florence by Mills. Um, I love that the products she designed are all with her friends in mind. So that's kind of special. Um, the first one that I want to show you is what an, a lip oil is what I would think lip oil is. This is the Glow Yeah lip oil. That Look at that. It actually looks like a lip oil. Um, I tried this in the store. They had a tester, thank goodness, but the tester was super messy. So I don't know. Holy moly, hold on, let me show you. Do you see it? Kind of reminds me of like old school lip glosses, you know, like for small kids. It's right there. So it looks like a clear sticky gloss. Like, do you remember that clear sticky gloss from Mac that everyone had? I put mine out on my desk, like I take it out and I put it on the edge of my desk, like, yeah, I have that lip gloss. I'm not gonna tell you how many hours I had to work at the district to get it, but I have the lip gloss. Anyway, it looks like a gloss, but it's not sticky like one. So, you see that? It feels like a thicker oil. And the tint, don't let the tint fool you. It's really, it's pretty much insignificant. Um, then I got the CU Never Concealer and the Light A Light Skin Tint. I'll list and link all of these products, including my shade, in the description box below. I swatched these in store and I was actually pretty impressed. It was kind of reminiscent of Urban Decay's One and Done. So this is Florence, um, it's like a tinted moisturizer with a little bit more coverage. Um, and then this is the concealer. So I kind of like that minimalistic packaging as well. And I'm kind of a nerd for anything lavender. So the pack, the packaging kind of brought me in. Let me put this, I'll do a little swatch. So this is the skin tint. It's kind of runny, so a little bit goes a long way. And I'm assuming it's one of those products that you either want to do just one thin layer or you'll do one thin layer and then stack it. So that's the um, skin tint. I'm in the shade LM070. God, it sounds like a, a code for something. Um, and then this is the concealer. The concealer, I'm not necessarily sure I'm gonna be a fan of. It does have that cool tip applicator where it's supposed to be um, cooling and depuffing and all of that stuff. I honestly, when I use concealers like this, I'll take it and then I'll blot it and then I use a sponge. So that's not, and it's never been a selling point for me. Does it stay cold? Heck yeah, it's really awesome. Um, that's the concealer. So you see the cover just pretty good. Um, and then that's the, the skin tint. It does oxidize. Did you see the difference? So upon first impression, I'm really looking forward to using these uh, products from Florence by Mills, but I do think they're going to be a little bit of a learning curve in terms of the amount of coverage. I think they're one of those really lightweight products. So if you're looking for boom, a mask or full on coverage, that's not what you're going to get from these products. Um, a product that completely blew me away and I was like, why haven't my pandas told me about this, I'm offended, is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I'm wearing this as foundation today, but don't get it twisted, not all over my face. I did dot, 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 and then I took my Beauty Blender and I bumped it out. That is all I'm wearing today, and you can see how much coverage is on my face. Holy mackerel, this product is bomb, you guys. Um, it is a really giant looking tube with a massive doe foot applicator, kind of like shape tape, but um, I'm really impressed. However, if you have very emollient moisturizers because you have dry skin, this is not gonna be a forgiving product. So I would say this is a great product for those of you with normal to oily skin, not necessarily dry skin. Did I put this on my under eye? No, I know better, but it is so good. The last product in this haul video that's 72 minutes long is this. I put it back in the box just because I wanted to be fancy about it, but I have already used it. Yes, I have. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. This is the I Love Revolution or I Heart Revolution. How do you say it? Revolution Beauty. Revolution Beauty, cruelty-free and vegan. It is a British brand, I believe, right? Aren't they from the UK? What is up with everything being lavender right now? Because I'm living for it. Apparently they didn't ask me for the rights to use Wesley's likeness, 
but that's okay. This is the Reva Pooches palette. It was $15 and it was worth every penny. First of all, the packaging. It's silicone. Look how cool that is. It's silicone. It's lavender, but I hate that plastic thing that comes in there. Look at this. Oh, aren't they awesome? Oh my gosh. Okay, so today I'm wearing bone on my brow bone highlight. I'm wearing boop on my transition. I'm wearing a uh, rollover as my crease color. And then I'm wearing fetch and uh, walkies. So what it says? Walkies, fetch and walkies on my lid. <sighs> I don't even know how I would swatch this for you guys because I'm running out of space. But all right, here's one. Here's another. Any palette that has baby diarrhea or baby vomit color is a palette I need in my life. Here's three colors for you guys. See the pigment? It's a $15 palette with dogs on it. I mean, who wouldn't love that? So there are four amazingly brilliant, great swatches that I did for you. You're welcome. The point of me swatching this palette is to tell you, do yourself a favor, go to Ulta.com or to your freestanding Ulta store and get this palette because um, the cuteness, look at Bobo. He can't take his eyes off of it. He's like totally enthralled with how cute this palette is, plus lavender. Anyway, you guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this Ulta haul. Throwing it back old school. I walked into a store, I spent way too much money, but I am so excited because retail therapy turned into actual success with the picks. So if I were to say, what do you need to run out and grab? Keep in mind your skin type, your skin tone, what your needs are, your personal needs. But for my personal needs, what you definitely need to go out and try, you definitely want to try the Creaseless Concealer from Tarte. You definitely want to try the Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. So, you know, depending on your skin type, I use them for different parts of my face. You definitely, I mean, I don't even need to repeat this, but you definitely need to try this. Depending on your scent type, try these out. Go to an Ulta, spray each of your sleeves, walk around and see which one you like more. This is fruity, fun. It's like going on a tropical vacation. This one here smells pretty, but like, pretty, but like you have depth, you know? Like you're not revealing all the layers. This one is, is, is a nice one. Um, what else? I don't, I mean, I keep repurchasing these three mascaras for a reason, but if you are the type of person that really likes the, uh, intense, voluminous, dramatic spidery lashes, then these are winners. But, um, like any and all my videos, I'm going to list link and provide the shade of each of these products for you guys in the description box below. So that if you need some retail therapy that I can guarantee you're going to be happy with, um, and that's, that's what I'm gonna do for you. Whatever it takes, you guys. Whatever it takes to strengthen the bond of our relationship is what I'm gonna do. So if I need to link the 92 products that I hauled at my local Ulta, then I'm gonna do that for you, because I love you. Anyway, that's it. I love you guys so much, and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.